What's going on guys? My name is Absolutely Blake and welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, I got a zit right here. It's not a hickey. A lot of people always see a zit on my neck and call me a hickey, so let's clear the air there. I'm 27, my birthday's coming up. I don't do hickeys anymore. But don't worry about the deformities in my face because I'm gonna be in a little box in the corner because today we are gonna be seeing if I can guess the straight. A couple weeks ago I posted a video where we tested out my gaydar to see if I could guess the one gay guy that was pretending to be straight in a lineup of seven men. Unfortunately, I got it wrong, but if you haven't seen that video, it's a good one go check it out right here so how it works is there's going to be seven people six of them will be gay one straight but all of them have to convince each other that they are not straight the goal of the game is to figure out who the mole is or in this case the straight guy because they're all gonna be trying to convince each other that they're gay if these six gay guys vote out the straight dude they go home with a bunch of cash but if the straight guy manages to stay in the lineup till the end of the game he goes home with all the cash for himself without further ado let's see if my straight dar is better than my gay dar we brought together seven gay men I'm gay I'm gay I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I am gay. One is a liar. When did everybody come out? I came out when I was 18. 17. My mom actually asked me what I tried to tell her. Mm. So I kind of hid it for a long time. I was like 23. It was like an anxiety round because it's so short. You can't really say anything. So far, I have no clue. Based on looks, this dude right here in the middle. But obviously, you can't judge a book by its cover. We learned that in the last one. But if I had to pick somebody, this dude in the middle with the freaking flowy hair. I came out to my sisters when I was 17. And then I came out to my mom when I was 21 because she found a cock running in my room. <laughs> she was like, what is this? And I was like... I guess I just based it off of appearances. He maybe doesn't fit the gay stereotype. I'm pretty sure they're talking about him, which I guess is a stereotype, so my bad. But yeah, he doesn't he doesn't have the appearance to me. He's gone. That was my guess. I'll, I'll try and pick somebody else out out of this lineup, but like from straight off the bat, that was him. We'll find out. Sometimes people tell me I'm not, I don't like necessarily look gay or quote unquote what people might assume looks gay. Maybe the clothes just like very, I wanna say bland. Are straight people bland? Let me know in the comments down below. Are straight people bland? Okay, I have a question. Okay, let's do a hypothetical. <laughs> okay, let's do a hypothetical. We were all on a baseball team. Would you consider yourself a pitcher or a catcher? I'm a catcher. Pitcher. I pitch and catch. Okay. Yeah. I'll do both. Pitch and catch, I want to say, yeah. Mm. More of a catcher. When did everybody know that they were gay? The birth. Literally, my birth. Literally, I had a boyfriend in like kindergarten, I promise oh you. My Literally, his name is Christopher, and we kissed on the slide in like kindergarten. It's definitely not Kieran. He's got his makeup down and a lot of straight people don't know how to do that. Like straight males, they, they couldn't do their makeup. Maybe some can, but none that I know can do makeup like that. Mine was really suppressed during high school. If no one knows, I'm trans. So I have two coming out stories. So that's very difficult to come out to your parents multiple times. Yeah, technically I had to come out three times. One, I thought I was a lesbian because I was born a woman. So I thought, okay, that's a thing. And then after that, I was like, no, I'm trans, so I had to come out again after that. And then I was like, yeah, I'm gay. Too many times. I mean, he had three times where he came out, which I get. You can come in, you can go out, you can come in, you can go out. But I'm just like, I don't know. That's way too many times. Yeah, for me, it was just so repressed because my dad was super homophobic. And then it just kind of came to a point in my life where, like, I realized, like, this is my life. I need to, you know, do something for myself and not live in that fear. I ran away to San Francisco, and, and that kind of helped me, like, accept it more. Who here was bullied in high school for being gay? Well, I suppressed mine, so. Yeah, no, yeah I, I was dodging that bully. Either. I'm not going to lie. Was, I was getting bullied since middle school. I want to take this moment to say that that's fucked up that that was even a thing. Those are kind of sad. First of all, I can't even imagine because I've never gone through something like that, the coming out story. I feel for anyone that has to go through that, that sounds like terrifying to come out to your parents. And then it's on top of that, getting bullied through school for just like your sexuality. That's so mind blowing to me that we're in 2022 and people are still getting bullied for something like that. Like who cares who another person fucks or likes? What does it matter? Damn, that was that was dark. I, I really feel like that's that sucks for a lot of people. And I'm sorry if anyone watching this channel had to go through like being bullied or having like a hard time coming out to your parents and stuff. That sucks. Has anyone had sex with a girl? Mm. You have. What was, it, what was it like? Drunk. I'm allergic. I was very drunk. <laughs> I'm allergic. I was very drunk. Pulled out after 15. Round two is coming to an end, guys, and I, I genuinely have no guess. If I had to pick one person, either going to be the dude in the pink long sleeve coat. Yeah, we're going with him. That's it. It's him. That's that's my guess. I, I honestly have no clue. No clue right now. I saw the on the run tour jacket that he was wearing. And I thought maybe he was kind of using that to kind of like trick us all into thinking he was like a Beyonce fan. So I was just like, let me get him out. 
I'm two for two right now on the people that I'm guessing on who they're voting here. Okay, so what's everybody's favorite part about our community? People are very, they're more accepting. So exes, when was, who, when was your last ex? Mine was about two or three years ago and I broke up with him because he was still in the closet and I'm like just mm -hmm. out there. Like, like I don't have time for that. Like I'll make yeah. out to a public, I want to hold your hand. Yeah. Don't really have an ex. Never ever mm -hmm. been in situations. I mean, like, I've been like talking to people, but it was in high school and I was like straight. Oh, okay. I was just really suspicious because every time people started mentioning like just relationships or just interacting with other men, he really couldn't go that much in depth. I agree. Not having a relationship now, like none whatsoever. Not even an open relationship. And without the depth, that's my new guess. That's number three. He's kind of. He kind of seems like he could be lying. All right, round three's ending. Second dude from the left. Well, he's gonna get voted out. He's hundred percent getting voted out because I can't. Like the other four. 100% gay. Um, the straight guy has to be out by now. <laughs> you feel that you've eliminated them all and you want to stop playing now, raise your hand. Oh, just me? So you guys want to keep going? It's one more round. Alrighty. I feel like the mole would want the game to end, right? The mole would want the game to end because then they win the money, but that was the only person to say, I want the game to end. That's my next guess. What's your guys' like type? Like, when it comes to, like, a guy. Similar looking build and appearance, um, but personality-wise, I really prefer, like, more feminine personality. Okay. I do kind of like on the taller side of things. I've been surprised, though. I don't have a type, you guys. I really don't. What? I'm just, like, I, I don't. I'm just, like, if you can vibe with me, if you can listen to the same music I listen to, we can, like, do some activities, go hiking, go on a walk. Like, you know, it's all good. No matter what you look like, no matter who you are, come to me. Okay. I'm on point with who they're gonna vote out. I'm not confident on who the straight person is. I still think, like, number one is the first guy they voted out, MK. Tall dude, long hair, based off looks. That's, like, my number one. But the straight guy is definitely out now, and if he's not, I'll be surprised. Raise your hand if you have any doubt and you would like to continue the game. Okay, good. I really didn't want to have that last round. I kind of figured we were all gay, but being... <laughs> Selfish. I just wanted it to be two of us. Okay. Let's go back to that guy that you dated who okay. was in the closet. So where is he now? Did you guys get back together after he came out? No, because when I, I also fell out of love with him. So I was like, I can't, I can't. I tried to get back with him and I was with him for a while and I was like, why the fuck am I doing this? Like, I'm sorry, I don't like you anymore. I feel like we're all gay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why do we do this? I'm gay as fuck. Uh, right. I'm gay as fuck. No, right? I'm gay as fuck. But they have to vote somebody out now. They fucked somebody over. Someone's not getting the money. It's only split between the people still in the game. They all, did they all vote themselves? Okay, guys. You all voted for a different person. <laughs> Each one of you guys gets 20 seconds on why you shouldn't be voting out. Okay, um, I'm gay as fuck. Um, I've been sucking dick. Um, can a straight <laughs> person do this? Oh! No, a straight person cannot do that. There's no way. That was impressive as hell. I'm gay. Because <laughs> I, I mean, it took a while to come to grips with it, but you know, after coming to grips to it, just kind of seeing and kind of showing that we come in different colors and different styles. Especially we're in such a time where, you know, it's good to have representation of just the whole spectrum. You know, there's someone watching who, you know, is in the same situation that I was in. It's nice to be able to see that and be able to be like, okay, so there is a, where you can still be yourself and still not feel secluded. And I actually feel bad somebody has to leave right now. I would offer whoever got voted out some money if they do end up winning. If they don't, I'll be hella surprised. But it's super sad because I do think that all three of these people are gay and they should all win the money, but someone's gotta go. I am gay, literally. And what straight man do you know could beat his face like this? Literally, I'm saying get into it, the soft glam. I'm just saying, like. That's what I said. I don't know what else y'all want from me <laughs> at this point. No! It's turning green, 100%. I'm good. I'm confident. Yeah. Yeah! Okay. Kind of figured. Who was it, though? Who was it? Who do you guys think it was? I have zero clue if it wasn't MK. What the fuck? 
No way! I need to hear their story. Well, it was risky coming out to the group here as transgender because a lot of people invalidate just trans people in general in the first place. A lot of people still classify me as a lesbian and oftentimes I do get it. I wouldn't classify Marcus as a lesbian because they are now a man. They identify as a man and they're into women. That's straight. That's a straight thing to do. Wow. I was definitely not right right off the bat. I'm going to go ahead and conclude that I'm not good by judging people based on their looks and the way they act, whether they are gay or straight. So this is why you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you guessed the person right, let me know in the comments down below. Even if you're wrong, let me know who you thought it was. And don't forget to subscribe for a new video every single Thursday and Saturday. Peace.